Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace, welcome back. Well, it's Sunday afternoon. Um, we didn't go to estate sales this morning because we had so much stuff we bought over the weekend. We have to get a handle on it before we can bring any more stuff in. So the stuff we're about to show you is from a private pick um, that we went to yesterday afternoon. Um, some resellers that are getting out of the business, they gave us a call and asked us to come take a look. And um, we're gonna show you what we got from them yeah so we have this we have this buy the buy happened in pretty much three separate sub buys of the the big buy right just kind of kept the different categories separate um just to make it easier instead of making a pile and then but, right making it easier to fake for the sellers to figure out a price and for us to understand the price that we were paying right it just made it easier for both for everybody yeah. i thought so uh, the first buy we did was um video game stuff a, a lot of it too a lot so what did we end up paying for that the everything we're about to show you and it's not we couldn't even fit it all on the bench at once yeah. so this is this is like half of it and then we have some more this is maybe yeah this is probably more than a little more than half but yeah. then we also have some other stuff that we're going to show you too but every all of the video game stuff we paid 275 for yeah total so uh we'll go ahead and go through this i've I've gone through quite a bit. I've actually even listed some of it already. So I am going to have to... Uh, yeah, we're going to show you all this stuff on the bench. And then we're going to clear it off and bring the rest of the stuff and the stuff he's already listed. Right. We'll show you the rest of that. Right. Because I have like... <laughs> I was making these like really fancy notes. Oh, there you go. Last Top night. your locations. For my locations for the stuff that I listed. I, I listed... Uh, this, just the video game stuff I listed last night was over $400. Nice. Which is not including anything that you currently see on the or bench. Or that you're going to be seeing after this, yeah. Right, right. Okay, so, so I've kind of got us some... Uh, I laid everything out. I have video games on here. And all the different uh, platforms, you know. Yeah, and y'all can see. Uh, these. Here's some PS2 games. I, I'm not... You know, my, my video game knowledge never was that great and it's kind of slipped some because i just haven't i don't i haven't been getting that much video game stuff really yeah uh, but y'all can kind of take a look at some of the titles here i've probably already cherry picked some of the better stuff to list yeah. um and then we do have a few nes titles back here uh we did have one in particular i, I almost threw it through this away this is batman returns and candace is like oh no this one has a crack in it and i'm like oh man that sucks but i i said let me look it up first before i toss it and wouldn't you know it this is a 30 dollar game yeah. so i am going to go ahead and test it and if it does work then i'll still sell it for some amount i don't know probably maybe i might have to take half price or even, or even ten dollars e even if i can get 10 for it it's yeah. better than throwing it away right so, if somebody just wants to play it and it works right there you go i'm thinking probably get more like 15 for it though yeah and uh well y'all can see the rest of this stuff and a lot of sleeves and it's this little uh handy dandy little case. case thing yeah uh we've got a f well and i'm not going to talk too much because y'all can kind of see yeah. we do have some genesis stuff we um we got we and look we have we do have there are some decent titles in here too uh i think donkey kong is pretty decent super sluggers might be pretty good sports resorts always good mario party 8 got two copies of that i did look at them some of these games will have to be uh cleaned what's in there i don't even know what is that that was skylanders okay. so we have four skylanders games here yeah hopefully i can a lot i think they might be all different games so hopefully like I can a lot, lot of those yeah because mm -hmm. i don't think they're very valuable we have um a few uh lower value n64 titles i think i'm not actually sure about that and then that is a uh super smash melee for gamecube for gamecube yep. yeah disc only got a few oh, these are also nes games they're just the uh tension yeah type this is uh basically we have a few things here there's these are wii manuals and then uh, here's a we have some other um booklets too i just didn't pull those out actually yet. you know what i need to redo one of my listings because i, I have this it. 
I actually listed this game last night and uh, I didn't know I had the manual for it. So I gotta redo yeah. that one. Uh, we have Wii's here with some bases. Four Wii's and they're all, they're all have, uh, I think they all are supposed to work, but they all, none of them have like their top covers as you can see. Mm -hmm. And this one is yellowed. yellowed pretty badly. Yep. So I'll probably just be selling those. Um, I'll test them, of course, and then sell those console only. They ought to do pretty good. Um, I'm not sure what they'll go for. Maybe somewhere around 30 bucks. Mm -hmm. not, not exactly sure. They had this um, FC Twin. This is one of those things that can play NES. Think it's NES or Super NES on this one. I've never had this model before. I'm not really sure. Um, and then what is this? Does this? I don't know. Uh, okay, okay. That is a Sega Genesis thing. All right. There's a place to plug in two controllers. Yeah, that's the old Atari style controller ports there. Yeah. So that's like this, but for a Genesis. Okay. We oh. have some Wii accessories there, a bunch of controllers. Yeah, we got like that's a Dual Shock 3 which I actually needed one of these because I do have a PS3 on the shelf over there that I need to list. Bag of nunchucks and cables. Okay. And uh, just a ton of uh controllers here. Some of them are pretty nice too. This is a uh look at this one. That's a Dual Shock 3 also. That's a cool looking, That's a nice uh, looking yeah. camo one. It's clean. It is very clean. And then we have, I think this is, is this a PS4 controller y'all? I think it is. That's a PS2 controller there. Oh, there's another, this is another PS2 controller. This goes to that. Oh, that's FC Twin controller. Yeah, look, you have two of them. Okay. Yep. I wonder if we have a power supply. I don't know. It may be in that bag, maybe. Or we have other stuff, too. We haven't pulled out yet. Okay. And then we have power supplies here. We have a Nintendo. Not sure. Okay, no game. It says... Um, oh, there's a note. There's a note. Works, but not clear a picture. Okay, so it doesn't work. All right. Well, for my purposes, it right. doesn't work. Right. Like, I can't sell that as working on eBay. I, right. I probably it's gonna just... going to be for parts. It's going to be parts only as yeah. is. I'm not even going to test it or nothing. Uh, we do have two Dreamcasts with no hookups that I know of. Um, we are going to do another buy. And he did say that he had a lot of con other controllers and peripheral peripherals and whatnot. So I may hold off on doing anything with these until I find out what else is coming and also this probably just going to go ahead and list this and the Wii's uh, for sure though uh, once I test them we also have there's no game in here yeah this is just a, a case it is cool though yeah. did you open it mm -mm, no it's a nice case I, I sell cases like that from time to time yeah it is nice look yep. okay and then um there is an N64 back there. I don't remember. Oh, I do remember. This has issues. So, this reset button is stuck. Mm -hmm. And there is no... Um, you, you have to have either a jumper pack or expansion pack in here for the thing to work at all. So, I maybe I could sell this parts only. But if I do, it probably ain't going to get much for it. Um because i mean it's just I'm, yeah I'll, I'll try i'll try to sell it so uh yeah let's uh we're gonna get this stuff off of the bench and box back up for listing uh here in the next week or two and then um we'll show you all some more stuff okay this is round two of the 275 seventy-five dollar uh video game buy so th there is a lot of there's a lot of good stuff and there's also some junky junk stuff so I mean, I, which I identify that. I, he did too, whenever, you know, yeah. he gave the price. So, uh, there is a PSP in here. And it is in really nice condition. It's mm -hmm. a PSP. What is that model? I can't remember is what. Is that the original one? It's a, no, no, no. Uh, a th this is a 3001. It's a nice green color too. And if you turn it on, it should have a game screen on it still. Yeah. So, 
it's in excellent condition it works so he i didn't check the price on this but he said i mean he gave a number like it was over a hundred dollars i think he said like 150 or something like that i can't remember though yeah but uh hold it down I, th I think hold it up like when i mean hold it yeah there you go i turned it off okay and then uh some we motion things here these actually sell especially if you put get like a little lot of them together people will buy those that that adds that other axis of movement to a uh to the original we motion it makes it a we motion plus and I think the first game that you needed that for was uh, Wii Sports. Wii Sports Resort. Yeah. Was the first one because I remember we we bought some of these back in the day. And these are just some accessory things that probably are not worth anything. Yeah. I would imagine. Um, we do have a a big thing of manuals over here, which I need to go through. Yeah. and see what's what i actually did pull i found some manuals like i listed a uh, mario game the manual was in there so that was good and then i also found manuals for a game genie there was a a manual and four updates for the sega genesis game genie so i was able to put those with the game genie to try and get more money too uh another one of those cases this is a really i've sold those before those are cool it's really clean they're, they're like little mini backpacks yeah for the uh game boy sp somebody will buy that that's a nice one and then we have this uh we have an xbox 360 over here it does have some stickers on it mm -hmm. uh probably won't even try and remove those we have a connect sensor we've got a 360 controller that's in a uh, good condition this is pretty good condition controller here it looks like we have all the hookups and everything here's a wire controller too for it so oh and that is a plate with they call it a play and charge cable i think it plugs in like right there i think that's what it yeah i think yeah that's right let's see so you could play play and charge. charges while you're playing, playing yeah it. Now, i don't know what this is what is this it says we it's i don't i've never seen that before i don't know what the heck that is we speak i've never heard of that in my life i've never i've bought so much we stuff in the past but i've never encountered this it's definitely an oem kind of device interesting so um we all that stuff that we showed y'all uh plus i'm going to show you all the other games that i've listed i can tell you tell y'all exactly how much i listed this last stuff for okay all of this stuff is stuff that i listed uh yesterday i actually did a little overtime yesterday and i listed everything you see on the bench now also was part of the lot and the total dollar amount for these listings is 457 dollars so right there like that's and that so right there we're already in the black if all this stuff sells yeah well into it with and then we still have all that other product that had that we showed you that hadn't been listed right. so um and uh, i'll just kind of go through it real quick this is sealed this dual pack this is sealed uh, i think this one was pretty decent uh this actually chinatown wars grand theft auto that already that's sold earlier today for like 42 dollars. a couple of things have sold already yeah this sold for i think 35 and the reason call of duty black ops the reason it's also sealed factory three sealed of these are huh? yeah those i think star wars 3 was pretty good too also um but this this one was was really good uh this we have resident this is a i think decent too yeah this actually sold also this one sold for like 46 dollars uh it's an unfortunate the labels weren't better on this one or i think i could have gotten like 60 to 70. wow so th there was some good stuff here this i think this might have sold and i got a pretty i got like top dollar because we had the manual the uh the label on that one is really nice and we had the original nintendo sleeve for it too. plus there's a like fading or marker or anything no that's a nice copy there yeah. that's a really nice copy uh so 
th those of y'all that know video games, y'all y'all know what this is. This one of these copies we had to put there. Candace put which location? I had because I had two listings, but if one of them sold already for twelve ninety nine. So we have a mix of like really good stuff and some a few average things like a. This might be 10, 11 bucks. Oh, but you have a bag of games over there. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, and then this, I wanted to show them this too. This Game Genie is kind of, I listed this for 30. Um, it's a nice, it's got a really nice label. And then it came with, this was, I thought this was interesting. Somebody really used the heck out of this. Code updates for these games. Yeah, the, the thicker one you have there, Candace, that's the manual that okay. it came with. But you can see somebody used the hell yep, out of that. they did. And then, these other books were all mail away code updates and i there is like a, a mailing address on the back mm -hmm. it's somebody in new jersey so it's nobody around here but uh yeah look at all these codes yeah so i guess as new games would come out they would have code updates that you could uh send away for so i thought that was interesting and then yeah we do we also have these are unlisted no, yeah, those are not listed. They're DS games, three little bags of DS games. There's, yeah, probably like thirty games in there. So, and I, I don't think I, ch I kind of tried to go through them. There's nothing like amazing in there though. There's no like Pokemon or anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, may end up making some, uh, you know, figuring out what makes good lots out of those. Yeah. Because a lot of times when you're dealing with like the cheaper DS games, you're you're looking at games that are like four or five six dollars you know and i'd rather just give them a little break and make make lots of 10 or something like that you know yeah but uh yeah that's all the video game stuff that we picked up for 275 dollars i am extremely pleased with that stuff especially being that we're already going to be in the black on that portion just from this stuff here right Okay, this was the most speculative part of the buy, probably, huh? Yeah. Would you say, Candace? We have a, a just a mixture of jerseys, um, different sports, different sizes, just a good mix. There is some good stuff here. Uh, I'm just really not sure. Yeah. I made we, I made a call. I made a call on it. He, he wanted three hundred dollars for all the jerseys, and it seemed it seemed fair to me some of them are older like candace said and a lot of the players are not hot right now like chauncey billups that one's cool that's a uh havlicek some hot there's hockey there's football there's right. baseball there's basketball there's everything college pro whatever yeah. who is 86 who is that oh uh ward i don't even know who that is <laughs> ward who is that i don't know who 74 is for the broncos who is 92 nagata okay this is an i yeah this stuff gets heavy that's an iverson this is a university of minnesota jersey that's a nice one and then that is a brady that's a tom brady that's a it's a little smaller it says xl but what how can that is that really xl it could be a ladies xl okay we'll have to figure out that sizing on that and we'll go through some of these others and set those down but yeah well you know what we're gonna have to track this yeah as we list it to kind of get an idea for like how we did i really don't have a clue some of these are sets with the shorts this is one here oh yeah that's like a man that is pretty sweet i gotta say look that is city boys that is cool and look at those shorts yeah it's got the shorts oh together. my gosh that is that is pretty sweet look at that yep. man okay that's pretty awesome now these are more like the um those are sets right yeah but they're like a cotton material they're not jersey material and it is sets mm -hmm. um chicago i think we have two of them yeah here. this is uh yeah that's a little it's different like shirt material look it says made in usa that's interesting yeah. huh we have two of those uh, same number you, you know that's i think that's jordan's number when he came back from retirement one time okay I th okay y'all correct I, I should know this because i was a basketball fan back then big yeah, time I'm surprised you don't know. i should know it but i feel like i almost feel like what happened was 
Jordan's retired. And then when he came back, y'all y'all help me out. I think when he came back, they had already, re I think Chicago might have already retired his number. So they couldn't give it to him? I think. <laughs> and then later on, I think they un undid that or something. I don't know. Y'all help me out because I really don't know. This has the tag still on it. Tank. What? Let me see that. That's the brand. Tank, Tank the America brand. Sports. Yeah. Look at that. Man, that's. It's got the shorts with it also. Okay. All right. And then another one of those uh, t-shirt material. Same thing. Okay. That's that Gallup brand again. Yeah. If any of this stuff is, is good, like really good, it could make this part this by way less speculative you know yeah this is a, like a woman sizing here okay well, oh that's a breeze that's yeah. you know breeze is becoming more and more irrelevant every day of course but uh that's cool that's a chris paul this has the tags that looks like everett oh my god you know who that is mm -mm. that's old uh chris i mean uh some viewers will know what i'm doing with that joke so chris i mean uh jim everett oh. he played for the rams forever and then I think he came to the Saints for like a year or something when he was washed up. Not that he was ever that great to begin with. That's going to be a hard sell then because it's also small. I think it's probably a woman's size, huh? That would be the very, uh, somebody would only want to wear that like ironically, <laughs> you know? <laughs> 34, who's that? That's uh oh, that's a Ricky Williams. That's kind of cool. 80, that's Graham. That's, um, he still plays, I think, or he... Or he just retired recently. Uh, Jimmy Graham. That's him. Here's a little Jordan. A little Jordan. Oh, baby Jordan. Who? What brand? That's a champion. Takes a little more to make a champion. Let's see. All right. Here's another Jordan. Yeah, it's a Wizards. And that those are small sizes, too. Mm -hmm. What? I didn't see this one. Warhawks. Sunbelt Conference. What? Oh, that might be the... Um, that, is that ULM? U Louisiana Monroe? I don't know. I wonder if this is uh I wonder like if this team used. is this team issue? Looks like it has got the number here. Oh I mean they all oh, do. No, that's not the number. That's the size. Okay. Forty eight, like a I almost wonder okay. I'm just wondering if maybe that's not a even maybe a uh team issue. This looks old. Oh, now that's an LSU one. Look, well, Wilson. Oh that's cool. Ooh. That looks like it might have been game used. That's LSU. I don't know. Um, let, let's look at this tag. Wilson made in USA. Whoa. We might have something here. Yeah. And get, guess who's number one in college baseball right now? LSU. They are. <laughs> well, I think they are anyway. They, they, they started out the season number one. Okay, look at that. That's pretty sweet. Yep. wonder what player wore 11 for LSU. Ooh, that's neat. I like that one. Okay. All right, I'm feeling better and better about this. We didn't actually, like, we went through it, but we didn't see each and every piece, right? It's a Yankees one. Majestic Made in USA. Diamond Collection. Yeah, look, Made in USA, a lot of this is vintage stuff. Look, I have a fire starter. <laughs> Bama. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, I say that with... Uh, with with some respect so y'all don't get mad at me if yeah, you're this is a player's warm-up huh look how i can wear that for a dress <laughs> it's great i've never seen it's a, a trailblazers yep. i've never seen someone with man it's so big oh, it's so look how long it is it almost makes me wonder if it's not but it's it it's i know it's not issue or anything because it's a hardwood classics yeah look how big what size it's is that? It's a 3XL, but it's so long also. That's yes. Like, look at these sleeves. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> it's nuts. It looks like it's made to fit somebody seven feet tall. I know. Maybe they just made it authentic like that's what the three X's were. For okay. The I don't know. Yeah, but who would want that? I don't know. Unless you're like that, that big. But yeah, what do y'all think about this part of the buy right here? Are you salivating? Did you tell them how much we paid? Yeah, we paid three hundred dollars for this. Yeah. All this stuff right here. Yeah, I was pretty happy with it. Candace was like, "Yeah," but I, I was ready to roll the dice. And after going through it, I feel better about it. Okay, good. How about you? I don't. I'm not too savvy on jerseys. So I'm not I, either. I have like no concept. I'm not either, but they're fun. 
They are. are they, they're enough. fun, and and usually the con. It looked like to me the condition looked pretty decent. Maybe here. that tiger's jersey will get us three hundred dollars. You don't know. That's what I'm saying. It, it with the number of pieces we have. We only we don't have to have them all be home runs. If we just have a few gems in there, yeah. we'll be set. And there, you know what? One thing I really liked, I saw a lot of Made in USA vintage looking stuff. So yeah. I think that could be good. Okay. So uh, we have one more part of this buy, or two more actually. One of them is one thing, but yeah. So we'll show you that after we get this picked up. Okay. Okay. This is a single piece here. Uh, this is a Rainbow Aquamate and it's just the main unit right and um i don't know we, i looked them up i can't remember i think it was somewhere somewhere in the vicinity of a hundred dollars and it's never been used it's yeah it's brand like you can look at the look at it and you could tell it has never been used yeah. like look the cord i think is still kind of factory wrapped yeah and this is like i don't know how this is supposed to like what is this supposed to like doesn't seem like it's supposed to be there. See, that's supposed to come out well, of there the and then goes slide right in here. here. Yeah. That's what that's supposed to yeah. do. But yeah, look, this is all clean. You can tell it's never been used. Right, nice. right. Yeah. So we can just sell that as like newish, newish open boxes, boxish. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. And uh, oh, did we say we paid twenty five for that. Yeah, we paid twenty five for that, and then these hats she uh, threw in. Yeah, she, uh, three LSU hats, but that's a two thousand three. Are they? What is it? Are they football? Two time national champs. Yeah. Okay. These are all. Uh, oh, oh that this has, has, a, it has a pin with it. Nokia Sugar Bowl two thousand four. Okay, cool. This is a two thousand three SEC champions. And then, okay, y'all see it. They, they they did just threw those in. Yeah. And we have one more really cool part of this haul. Okay, now this next part is the... It's vintage razors, razor blades, razor advertisements, just razor, razor, razor. Yeah, this is super cool this here. This is like the display, store displays. And look, they're complete, like this is complete. Yeah. This one had, look, four blades for 10 cents. So each one of these little packs, they would charge 10 cents. Mm -hmm. I'm not, we could probably, it'll be easy to find out what year these are from. And you can see they have, I'm not gonna do it, but they have kickstands on there to make it stand up on the, uh, look at look at that one. I love this guy. I don't know what's up with his nose. Man, what a blade. <laughs> be a pal. I'm like this is the original box where it it's was, in there i yeah. left it in there you, you can, can pull see it out it's in there i'm gonna leave it alone but okay. it's another display like this as well as this um some more displays this is like um just blades look it's a box full of razor blades yeah that is a lot of razors yeah how many how many are in here for single edge razors 20 packages that's 100 razor blades in that box yeah look at the ohio blue label blades Three, yeah. Oh, inflation. Three blades for 10 cents. Mm -hmm. Look, this is... That's four for 10, yeah. And and wait, we have one that was like... I showed you that was sealed? This one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look, this one is still in cellophane. Well, no, I, I, that might have been whoever the collector was. Oh, I think you're right. That. Yeah. Because it looks like a brand new cellophane job. Yeah, I think whoever the collector was did that for the integrity of it. Can yeah. you see it? It's, yeah, it's really hard. No, it's not hard to say, is it? Because, like, it's taped. I think it's taped back here and stuff. Yeah, uh, they, they wrapped it's it. It's on cardboard also. Yeah, they wrapped that. Yeah, yeah you're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I thought it was, like, sealed. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, how cool is this? Yeah. We looked up a little bit of it, and uh, that's. I decided to just go ahead and buy this. He had a, he said he had a pretty good bit into it. Um. Oh, look, they've really gone up. Oh, no, that's you get 10 blades for 25 cents. For 25 cents, yep. went over here, you get four for 15. Okay, so that that kind of makes sense. I what, what do you think? This is 50s, Candace. Is that what you're thinking? That's what, uh, 50s or 60s? So because um, we're gonna show we have razors, actual razors, also, we're mm -hmm. gonna show you in a moment. So, I think like earlier century they were probably still using the straight 
blades, right? Would yeah. You, don't you think? I don't know. I'm just guessing. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah. So. But yeah, I this was so cool. I, I'm. We're gonna have to track all these buys to fi to find try and figure out about how much because we we guessed it was a good thing to buy, but yeah, we back then. Oh wait, look, copyright 1940 on here. So 40s, 50s, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll very carefully pick all this stuff up, and uh, I'm looking forward to this. This is like, we don't get to deal with stuff like this too often. Yeah. This is cool. We're going to show you the other half of it. Let's pick this up. All right, this is the next part of the razor buy. We have all these loose razors here, and then they, are, they sorted some of them already. You can see they sorted them and put the names on them. All of these. Some of them have some really cool handles. Those look like Bakelite handles. I know. Look at that. And I thought this one was interesting too. It's got like a big old fat handle. Look, look at that. that. Yeah. And look, that this th there's different methods of like securing the razor. That one just has a thing you just flip open and then close. Yep. And then you have the tr the other kind that's the twist where it opens up. You just twist the base of it, and it opens it up for you to stick your blade in there and close it these back. are just amazing like I, I have actually sold i had a bag of like i don't know 25 razors one time that i don't think were as nice as most of these are look how shiny that still is i know a lot of this stuff hasn't been used right um so yeah we have i don't even know how many we haven't counted them all these razors then this is a box um of razor boxes I pulled out a few that are clean. A lot of them are not. So they're, I mean, that, that's not horrible. But yeah, you can see they just have age damage, you know. Right. Um, so, but these are some of the, some good ones. And I haven't gone through it all, but these are some just so you can kind of see. This is just, a, I mean, I, I'm surprised this is cardboard and look how good of shape it's still in. Hopefully we can figure out what razor it goes with, mm -hmm. if we even have the razor that it right. goes with. We don't know that. And then a couple of advertisements. I thought that was cute. Look, here comes my future, I hope. He's a man she wants to know better and better. <laughs> what is that? Wait, wait, what was the second better? I don't mean? know. I think I know what the second better <laughs> means. And then this is uh, like out of a magazine also, just um, Courier and Ives shaving kit advertisement yeah i don't even know I, i'm i'm i suck so bad at like trying to estimate like when i see a big pile of something how many's in it i'm not a very good estimator of that yeah but uh i did we were looking at some razor listings i i do think that most of these are probably going to be you know may they might average like 12 dollars a piece or something like that however um i did pull up this one listing here vintage gillette safety razors and it says and pal blades yeah and goodness knows we have plenty of blades if we want to do something like that because not all of our blades are um are on the the cards we do have some some that aren't like, this was at auction they got nine beds up to 76 dollars now was that for the blades or i mean is there one gem in here they were bidding on or is it the whole package we do i mean like we have a couple of that actual gold Look, one right there this is it yeah that's and then, it and then i'm sure we have this silver too so oh, um are you that's another gillette do yeah. you have a, a silver one that looks like our oh. gillettes well these might be silver gillettes here you know some of them might yeah so, well look we can see. kind of tell us. they say on the underneath what they are oh, okay yeah this is a gillette here oh, that's a gillette yeah. let me see it oh yeah. okay let's see if that's the same as this one i think this might be the pattern that's not the same i think this is it right here switch let's see, see? yeah i think it is yep. except the only difference is ours is in better condition right ours looks like it was never used look we have that yeah we so, have those two blades right there and we have multiples of them so yeah uh, i the, think i think we have a little gold mine i here. think we have a gold mine too yeah especially given the just the sheer quantity right this this part of the buy i, I think the other parts of the buys were, were good mm -hmm. this could be golden yes and um i'm excited about this one i am too and you know what the beauty the beautiful part is it's small yep and and it's, we have quantity of the same stuff so yeah it's going to require research but 
But once, like, I have this one here, once right. I have that, I can do, a, you know, several listings, A, B, C, D, whatever, you know. Or, yeah, I, I do think on, I think on most of these. If we do, if we do lot them up, like, a few and a lot, I think probably your best way would do be, like, how they did, different patterns. Because, I mean, if I were a collector, I would not want three of the same pattern. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. So if we do end up doing small lots, I think that's would be the way to go. Yeah. So. And, and anybody watching, have y'all uh, have y'all dealt with like large lots of vintage shaving or razor things like this? And uh, it, oh, did we say how much we paid? No, I don't no. think we did. Mm -hmm. So for all of the razor blades, razors, and razor blade stuff that we just showed y'all, that part of the buy was three hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. Which it seemed like a lot at the time. Um, I, I was okay with it because while Lonnie was looking at it and they were talking, I started looking up the store displays and I saw mm -hmm. the prices were decent. And then I kind of glanced over and saw how many razors we actually have, and I'm like, okay, I feel good about this. You know? Yeah. So yeah, this could be this could be really awesome here. Yeah. I'm excited about this part too. And it's fun. It's something different. It is. You know? It is, and it doesn't look like a lot of work either. Right. <laughs> it, well, it looks like the re the kind of work that Candace likes to do, which is the research. But the names are on there. This is a PAL Injectomatic. You know? Right. Yep. Um, this is a uh, a gym cutlery company, New York, USA. You know, so yeah, they have their names on them, so that'll help out tremendously. And you know, you know, if you do have trouble, they're. I, you, there's probably a myriad of websites that you can oh, reference because yeah. yeah. this is like this is a long established type uh collector base here mm -hmm. yeah so, all right well that's uh that's everything that we bought on the private pick i'm pretty excited about all that inventory um uh, and it, we we still have this stuff too oh yeah everything all the stuff we picked up saturday and you know all that baseball stuff the the game stuff plus all the other little stuff I and mean, we just have stuff let, let, let me show y'all we, we, we have to like we're, we're having a crisis we're gonna have to bring stuff to storage because we just we don't have anywhere to put it to in the meantime till we can get it listed right i don't know if you can see down that aisle yeah okay yeah look we're, we're having <laughs> a we have we're having a crisis here yeah we do, this is the point where we need another shed <laughs> and uh, we, we we were talking to the people we did the private pick from and we we're like they had more stuff they have a lot more stuff there and we, we just said hey can we do more maybe next weekend yeah. because we we're like we because we had just filled the truck and unloaded the truck from garage sales and then we bought all this, we bought that stuff. It's like, we just need like, just give us a, a week to breathe here. Yeah. So we can sort things out. We, we know we're not gonna list it all. We know we're not gonna list it all. Some of it's gonna have to take a back burner and go to storage in the right. meantime. Um, we kind of figured out a game plan. Like we, the baseball stuff I think is crucial because yep. of the time of year. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna, after we get orders pulled tomorrow morning, I'm gonna tackle that. I'm gonna probably, go outside in the driveway and spread it all out and see what we have and um get start listing that stuff and that's priority yeah and, and it's, it's and it's bulky so we're gonna get it listed and box it up and it's going to storage yeah we for we're maybe the, try taking trips to storage every day who knows for uh, just a little while yeah. it won't be forever we did talk about maybe doing two-day handling just on the baseball stuff because it's going to be stored off-site but then again the two-day handling could people aren't gonna are gonna want it fast we'll figure it out though yeah. we're, gonna, we're gonna have to come up with some kind of plan yeah but uh yeah it we, we have the the best problem in the world is resellers yeah um uh, really uh, like uh, just a ton of high quality great stuff to list yeah you gotta love early spring or at least it's early spring for us and i feel like like we spent okay on the private pick we spent three six fifty. We spent nine twenty five. Yeah, I feel like that was nine twenty five well spent. Oh yeah. What do y'all think? I'm curious what y'all's uh, what y'all's uh, opinion of that buy is. I I I already feel like it was an awesome buy. I just don't know how good it was. Yeah. But the razor stuff has me really excited. The more I the more we kind of delve into the razor stuff, 
the, the more excited the I get. The video games is already good. The video games are already. I mean, the video games will probably pay for everything else, honestly, right. which it should. Like yeah. that's how you have to buy stuff, right? Because we're putting time into the stuff. Yeah. So, all right, well, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, let us know what you thought about the haul here. Let us know what you thought. I, I don't. I'll be surprised. I, sometimes you don't always know. Like. Sometimes people like the overwhelming majority will say, Wow, that was awesome, or sometimes they'll just be like, Are Man, you crazy? <laughs> right, or somewhere in between. Have so, you lost your mind? Yeah, I feel like we have, honestly. <laughs> so, thanks so much for watching. We'll see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.